Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about growing lavender indoors. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, I'm going to give you some tips on the benefits of lavender and then I'm going to give you some tips on how to grow it indoors. Number one, lavender smells really amazing and it looks really nice and it helps heal the body. It's used in soaps, shampoos, perfumes, essential oils, and more. Lavender is known to help with insomnia, anxiety, and depression. It has the ability to slightly calm and slow down the nervous system and is a sedative when the scent is inhaled. When I had my lavender plant, I had it next to the bed and I really could tell a difference. It really did help me relax and help me sleep better. Also, lavender helps reduce agitation. It can be used as an antibacterial. Now, I'm gonna give you some tips on growing it indoors. The best lavender for indoors is French lavender. It's the easiest one to grow. You need to choose an appropriate size pot that is well draining. You will be moving your plant around from time to time to maximize sunshine and warmth. So your pot, you don't want to get one that's too big and too heavy to move around. Get one maybe small to medium size. Your pot is going to need drainage holes in the bottom and you can't have sitting water for your plant to survive. So your plant is going to need eight hours of direct sunlight and it wants to be hot and dry. You can sit it near a window for maximum sunlight, but also if it's possible, you need to sit it outside for approximately eight hours in direct sunlight. If you want it to survive, it's really going to need that sunlight. You need to water when it's dry to the touch you should allow it to dry out one inch on the top and when it's dry to the touch then is when you want to water it again. Water it till it drains from the bottom and then stop watering and allow it to drain but don't let it sit in the water no matter what. Also you don't want to allow the uh, plant to dry out too much to the point that it's withering because if you do let it dry out to that point then it might not it might not survive after that. You're going to need a well draining potting soil so your plant doesn't sit in water. So use a soil that has a pH between 7 and 8. You are going to want to fertilize every six months or so. Now be sure and keep it out of cold temperatures and be sure to move it inside as soon as cold weather comes. It will not survive in too cold a temperature. So there you have it. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you decide to get one, let me know. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them for you. You're pretty much gonna have the same care for having your lavender outside, except for if you have it outside, you need to remember it's not gonna survive in the cold. So be sure and um, leave any comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.